Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Here I have a great article for you guys straight from T-Mobile's newsroom. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So not too long ago, T-Mobile opened up its network slicing capability to, to beta developers. And, and that was at the time of that announcement, it was it was limited, right? It was limited to certain developers or whatnot. Now, T-Mobile expands world's first network slicing beta to developers nationwide. So now it's nationwide. It's still only limited to a certain device. Video calling beta program now available to developers across the country, including Android developers on the Samsung Galaxy S23 series. So it seems like it may be only available now for the S23, but we'll see here. No matter how you slice it, uncarrier customers come out on top. From the stage at T-Mobile, at the Mobile World Congress in, in Las Vegas today, T-Mobile Chief Technology Officer John Saw announced the uncarrier's network slicing beta is now available to developers nationwide. The program has also expanded to Android developers who want to use the power of 5G standalone to optimize their video calling application commercially available on the ga on the Samsung Galaxy S23. The moves the move makes it easier for developers across the country to test their new and improved applications with the customized video calling network slice on T-Mobile's 5G SA network using commercial device, using a commercial device. So the rest I'll leave in the description so you guys can check it out. So T-Mobile's trying to advance as quickly as they can, right? The network capability is there. Developers, of course, will have to make use of it on, on, on their end. And that's what we're waiting for, the next use case, right? If you're if you're putting network slicing out there, what's the use case? Looks like video calling could be one. I still say the first, the biggest one should be fixed wireless access. That should be a priority for network slicing, in my opinion. And hopefully they'll get around to upgrading the software on the routers to take advantage of standalone and eventually network slicing. I just think it'll it'll make it a, even a better experience for fixed wireless access customers. Not saying that it's a bad one now, but it's going to get even better with the network slicing, in my opinion. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Look forward to reading your guys' comments. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See you in the next one. Peace.